right back to the quick tips to drive in snow. First, learn to control your uh, accelerator pedal. Be soft with it. Because you're gonna spin at like stops and stuff like that. And uh, spinning can like cause, cause you to like go right or left when you don't want it. Be prepared, Good. have good wipers. That's important. Good winter tires, usually. Winter tires go in two different sections, I would say. Uh, there's some that are better for fluffy snow and thick snow. Others are better for ice. But usually, if you pay... The more you pay for tires in general, the better they're gonna be often. There's a Nokian that makes good tires, uh, Michelin, all the brands you know mostly will make good tires, but the Acapelita, Nokian are like some of the best, they're really well rounded tires and they last for a long time also. Consider Having maybe traction aid, traction aids, preferably there's good ones that are made from strong plastic. Can also carry cat litter in your trunk for traction and weight. Also helps for traction in general. But not only for that, if you need, a, for example, you're stuck in ice or whatever cap litter or salt can help to dissolve it a bit and make you uh, give you a chance to get out because you could be stuck in a shitload of snow sometimes because even if there's only this amount of snow right now uh, when they come and shovel uh, remove the snow they like push it towards the sidewalk where cars are parked and then you, uh, you will have trouble getting out if you have a four-wheel drive car or rear-wheel drive. Also be careful in curves like this, there can be uh, ice. So you just turn the steering wheel gently. Keep a good distance with people in front of you. Because I know a lot of people have the habit of uh, tailgating. <laughs> Even if you have, like me, I got good brakes, you have to think that maybe the person behind you doesn't <laughs> so you have to think all of that you know and uh, be aware especially if weather changes uh, like right now it's fl fluffy snow and whatever but it, it can change and become like ice uh, hail or whatever because when it snows generally it's because it's not really cold so it can start raining also and that also can be a problem because rain rains just water so if later on it gets colder then it becomes ice and it can be really uh, treacherous like if you don't think about it can have something called black ice here we have and it looks just like the asphalt it's really hard we call it black ice because it's not it's not really seeable by the eye so that's why but that can be really really dangerous also if you brake don't smash the brakes it's never a good idea. You just pump the brakes, you give it a good couple of taps. You don't like smash it to the floor and stay like that. It just puts more chance for you to slide forward longer and hit another car. 
that's why you keep a distance. Otherwise, snow is beautiful like this. It's like the best, the first snow. It's not so cold and it's pretty, so it's cool. But then, for a, a couple of months, you get tired of it <laughs> and you just want summer back and fun. Preferably get something that is four wheel drive or all wheel drive, no matter what. Good, good set of tires. If you're all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive, you can skimp a bit on tires and get something a bit cheaper, like I did. Uh, but for front-wheel drive, it's really important to get good tires because uh, it makes a huge difference. <coughs> like this guy spinning. <laughs> he's drifting. <laughs> he thinks he's in Tokyo. Tokyo Jeep. <laughs> I want to flash my lights to let him know it was nice, but it, he wouldn't. <laughs> he was still spinning on the... Like, this Jeep probably is four-wheel drive, as you think, but uh, it's still uh, better to just uh, be careful. if you're especially someone coming from a, another country and driving here when summer uh, winter I mean is coming usually not usually but always like the Sun is like less on top of us during the let me explain during the summer uh, I know it's not the Sun actually moving it's not, but when it's summer the sun is mostly on top of us and really like pointing down pointing down downwards at us so that means when you're driving you don't really have the sun in your face or whatever and it's just on top so it's not really causing problem with visibility but for winter it really is because uh, for some reason the Hertz position, whatever. The sun is more towards the line of sight, and uh, what happens is that often, when it's it can be really cold, out, cold outside. You can have snow like this right now. As you can see, it's not. It's like almost nighttime, <laughs> but <clears throat> snow is like white. It's white, of course, and it causes a reflection of the sunlight or car lights or whatever you have to be careful of that you, it's 
good to have sunglasses in the winter, even though it's weird. <laughs> it can be good. If you have like sunglasses for vision like me, I have that tints uh, automatically. It's really good. Because <clears throat> really often you're gonna, you're gonna drive and have like the sun right in your fucking face and it's really strong in this in the winter even though it's not warm at all for some reason it's strong as fuck and then you're blind blinded and then uh, there's actually actually accidents happening because of that so you have to be careful of that also just being careful but not going like insanely slow because it's gonna frustrate other drivers and then potentially cause an accident you know I have to be uh, reasonable and go within the limits and just <clears throat> drive carefully when, once you get the hang of it it's actually fun to drive in snow I think Personally, I like it. <clears throat> like this guy had a Subaru WRX or whatever. Like here, I pressed the brake a bit and then the car started sliding. Like, yeah, I was spinning. <laughs> when there's a, a bit of like of snow like this on the ground it's really slippery even though I have a all wheel drive I could like find a parking and with this do uh, donuts easily <laughs> which is fun but uh, you have to pick your, your spot to do it like not hurting you one or yourself like here if I press the brake softly it doesn't spin that's fun though I love it I know I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tips uh, yeah, I forgot another thing. Just buy a... The best is to get a small shovel for your car. I never shovel myself. Because when I'm stuck... I, I never was stuck with this car, but previous cars when I was stuck, I was just flooring the car and just like... <laughs> getting out with power, you know? But uh, if you want to be more gentle on your car, just buy a shovel, use that shovel to remove snow at tires where traction is normally. So if you're front wheel drive, the front wheels, and you should be good. A uh, small shovel is good enough, usually. Uh, be careful of ice also. Like right now, the snow is all fluffy and stuff, but uh, if it gets colder, it's gonna become really hard, and uh, you have to be careful because it can be can damage a car if you hit your bumper on that hard snow and uh, it can really cr crack up your bumper or fuck up your oil pan or whatever under your car so when you drive and you park you go slowly pay attention to sounds your car makes and uh, hope for the best also having a good like uh, I don't know what's called like a snow a show, not a shovel but like to remove snow you're on your car like there's a, like a little broom you can buy those are good also because if you drive with your windows full of snow you can get pulled over and the police is gonna give you a ticket so and uh, here winter tires are mandatory so you, you have to install them before 1st of December as you can see right now we're December 3rd I think and there's snow like this so you have to be aware of that and be, 
do it before before the first of December is uh, safe. Then after when summer is coming, you can switch to summer tires for all seasons. And then there's no like real there's no uh, mandatory dates. You can keep your winter tires for summer if you want, but it's not good. It's gonna use them up really good and. Uh, Next winter, you might be stuck in a bad situation where you might need to change them. Uh, like like this guy did is stupid. Like, was paying attention when someone's not paying attention, breaking last second to like let this guy go through is. Uh, can just spin and hit this guy. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. Dumbass. Like here I was spinning. Spinning time. Yeah, besides that I think I pointed most things. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. And uh, if you're a newcomer, I wish you the best of luck. No accidents. And uh, be careful.